So in closing, I just want to say, Mr. County Attorney and your team and labor in particular, you were right to be persistent and be persistent with everybody else. And now it's my pleasure to introduce at her first press conference, I think, if not as a new commissioner, after attending her first meeting with Commissioner's Court, County Commissioner Leslie Brown. Well, thank you to everyone who is here today. Thank you to my colleague, Commissioner Ellis, for championing workers' rights for decades. Thank you to our county attorney, Christian Menefee, and all of his team who have worked tirelessly for years. Thank you, Neil, for everything you and your team have done to make this happen. To all of our labor friends in the room today, especially to Linda Morales, representing the Texas Gulf Coast Area Labor Federation for your decades of championing justice and safety and workers' rights. To Mr. Trevino, Thank you for your leadership, Ms. Castillo, Mr. Puente, and so many others who are here today, and to all the businesses who also partnered to get this done. That is what I love about Harris County, that we can come together to find these win-wins that help Harris County lead. So tomorrow, at my first commissioner's court meeting, I am thrilled and honored that this will be on the agenda, because I come from a working family. And to be able to championing, champion working families here in Harris County is something I am deeply committed to. We all have a story, whether it's someone in our family, a neighbor, a loved one, a friend, who has been injured on the job, who are struggling to make ends meet, and then they get injured, and it is catastrophic, and it affects a, a community. We've all cared for someone who has been hurt. So I am excited that Harris County will be leading we will be leading, continuing to grow. Our infrastructure projects are only going to continue to grow. And we can do that while also championing workers' rights. Because to protect the health and safety of our workers is non-negotiable here in Harris County. It's unacceptable that more than 3 million each year suffer serious injury or illness on the job. It is unacceptable that 5,000 working people are killed on the job every year. These are national numbers. But in Harris County, we're going to be leading to make sure that our workplaces are healthier and safer for all. And we will be prioritizing the dignity and rights of every worker. And this is also pro-business. Because we know that when workers are kept safe, we have higher productivity. 99 million days were lost due to worker-related injuries, and the total cost of work injuries was nearly $164 billion in lost wages and productivity losses. So this is a win-win for workers in Harris County and for businesses in Harris County. And I am proud that everyone in this room and so many others have been championing this for years, and I'm happy to now be at the table tomorrow to be a small part of it. As we continue to grow in this county, I want us all to continue leading and finding these win-wins for our community. And I look forward to working together for many years to come so that Harris County is leading not only in Texas, but nationally and globally. So I look forward to being there tomorrow at Commissioner's Court meeting to cast my vote for this critical contractor safety policy. So thank you to everyone, and let us stay safe, let us be healthy, and let us continue to build the Harris County of the future. Thank you.